Okay, so this is Boyle's Law. Remember, this is on reference table T. It's part of the combined gas law. And we're dealing with pressure and volume. Now, a tricky thing is if the pressures are not all in the same units, we'll need to convert. So remember, on the front of the reference table, you learned that there's one atmosphere, and that's equal to 101.3 kilopascals. <clears throat> and we also learned that it is 760 tor, they're all equal to each other, and 760 millimeters of mercury, okay? Now, these two are not on the regions, but this worksheet includes them, so it doesn't kill you. All right, <clears throat> assuming constant temperature, so we don't need to worry about that. A sample of oxygen gas occupies a volume, a volume of 250 milliliters at 740 torr pressure. What volume will it occupy at 800 torr pressure? So T P1 is 740, V1, 250, 800, and we don't know, okay? So now, <coughs> let's just do some math. 740 times 250 is 185000 E2. Divide both sides by 800, and you get 231.25. So we're going to look at sig figs. I got three here, I got three here, I got three here. So we need three sig figs, 231 milliliters. Now, if you don't have to round to sig figs, your teacher doesn't require you, uh, it doesn't matter. You could have kept it at 0.25. A sample of carbon dioxide occupies a volume of 3.50 liters at 125 kilopascal pressure. What pressure would the gas exert if the volume was decreased to 2 li liters? So, <clears throat> when you read it, we start with 125 kilopascal, 3.50. Uh, we don't know what our, whoops, our new pressure is, and this is 2 liters. So 125 times 3.50 is 437.5 equals P2 times 2. So divide both sides by 2, and you get 218.75. Three sig figs, three sig figs, three sig figs. So I'm going to round it to 219 kilopascals. Again, if your teacher doesn't make you round to sig figs, don't worry about it. A two liter container of nitrogen had a pressure of 3.2 atmospheres. What volume would be necessary to decrease it to one atmosphere? So 3.2 times 2 equals 1 times, I don't know. So 3.2 times 2 is <coughs> 6.4. 0 1.0 times V2, uh, divide by 1, and you get 6.4. Units are liters. Don't forget your units. Ammonia gas occupies a volume of 450 milliliters at a pressure of 720 millimeters of mercury. What volume will it occupy at standard pressure? Oh, sneakies. These are all standards, so they're looking for 760 in this case. So we have uh, 720 times 450 equals 760 times, I don't know. So 720 times 450, 324000 zero, 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 equals 760 times V2, divide both sides by 760, and I get 426.315. So three sig figs, three sig figs. Uh, the standard does not have sig figs, it's the standard. So three sig figs would be 426 milliliters. All right. A seven, 175 milliliter sample of neon had its pressure changed from 75 kilopascals to 150 kilopascals. What is its new volume? So this is written a little bit differently, but we start with 75, we start with 175 milliliters, we go to 150, and I don't know. 
So 75 times 175 is 131.25 equals 150 times V2. Divide both sides by 150. Hold on, 131, 2, 5 is 87.5. So if you were rounding to sig figs, three sig figs, two, two, that would be 88 milliliters. However, like I've been saying, if your teacher is nice enough to not make you round to sig figs, you don't have to. And you could leave it at 87.5. A sample of, <coughs> excuse me, hydrogen at 1.5 atmospheres had its pressure decreased to 0.5 atmospheres, producing a new volume of 750 milliliters. What was the original volume? Okay, so since they're asking for original volume, that's a V1. So we start at 1.5, and then we have 0.5, and this is 750. So read the question, read it. So 0.5 times 750, that's half, is 375 equals 1.5 times V1, divide both sides by one and a half, and you get 250. Two sig figs, two sig figs, two sig figs. Well, this is two sig figs, so we're good. And it's milliliters. Chlorine gas occupies a volume of 1.2 liters at 720 torr pressure. What volume will it occupy at one atmosphere? So already I see a problem. I have 720 tor to start, but I have atmospheres to end. So I'm gonna need to change something. Now one atmosphere is really nice because I know that one atmosphere is 760 tor. So I'll just, because that's standard. So I'll just go ahead and use that. Otherwise I'd have to do some dimensional analysis. So anyways, uh, we start with 720 and 1.2 equals 760 times V2. 720 times 1.2 is 864 equals 760 times that. Divide both sides by 760 and you get 1.1368. So two sig figs, two sig figs, that, yeah. I'm not gonna round to one sig fig. Let's, let's just stick with two sig figs, 1.1. One sig fig is just, it's not good. And that's a liter. Um, 900 torr, when the pressure is changed to 1.5 atmospheres, you have a volume, we're looking for original volume. But we need to adjust our pressures. So it doesn't matter if you want tors or atmosphere. I'll change to atmosphere. So I have 900 torr, and I know that it's 760 torr is one atmosphere, because they're both standards. So 900 divided by 760 is 1.184, blah, whatever, atmospheres. And we'll round it away with sig figs later, so it doesn't really matter. So we start with the 1.184, because that's atmospheres, and I don't know this. And I have 1.50, and it's 250. So 250 times 1.5, gives me 375 and we have 1.184 V1. Divide both sides by 1.184 and you get 316.72. That's three sig figs, three sig figs, three sig figs. Uh, so we need three sig figs. That would become 317 and that would be milliliters. Okay, if you have any questions, please reach out. Thank you.